My name is Pete Rayner. I'm a faculty member in the Division of Environmental Health Sciences here in the School of Public Health. Airborne infection isolation rooms are rooms in hospitals where patients with tuberculosis or uh, perhaps some other infectious disease would be uh, housed. An isolation room has negative pressure relative to the surrounding hallways. Air will flow into the room from these outside locations and keep any um, microorganisms that might be coughed or sneezed by the patient inside the room. Our findings were that many of the rooms did not meet guidelines set by the American Institute of Architects and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The pressure in many of the rooms was lower uh, than the pressure difference that's recommended. And I think 9% of the rooms were actually positively pressured, which is, uh, means the airflow is in the wrong direction into the surrounding areas. We should be concerned about patients and visitors and staff members being protected adequately. It's an issue both in Minnesota and nationwide and worldwide. The Minnesota Department of Health is using these findings to try to go back to hospitals and fix some of the problems that we found. And also we're doing some additional studies to try to understand whether we need to have even more stringent parameters than are already in place.